Hey, Facebook friends and people on the interwebs, good to be with you again. And we've got a special guest, Alila, with us. Alila mm -hmm. is a student in Our Lady School of Discipleship. And uh, just really been a blessing to get to know you over the months. How long have you been in the home now? Um, a little over eight months. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's been quite some time, and the Lord's done a great work in your life. Oh, well, hopefully we'll get to hear a little bit about it. And um, But Lila was just upstairs in her downtown office right now, and, um, you know, she, the Lord is, as of lately, really, we've been talking about this lately, kind of working in your heart to um, help use the influence that God has given you, you know, to help other people. And yes. today is uh, Giving Tuesday, and uh, this is a great opportunity to help uh, RU students and potential RU students who would like to get in the home. Right now, we were just talking about this, we have four students that want to get in the home, but don't have the financial re uh, means to right now. So if you partner with us financially, that uh, money will directly go into investing in the lives of students to get them here to get the help that they need. Alaya, Alila, if you could just kind of summarize just maybe what, what, uh, maybe what brought you here and what, uh, you know, you don't, you don't have to go into so much detail, but what the Lord has been doing in your life in the ladies' home over the last several months. Okay. Um, so what brought me to the home? Um, I was dead emotionally and mentally. Um, I came back to the Lord in December of last year, and uh, I tried to walk with the Lord and um, go to church and do it, um, but I didn't realize how um, mentally messed up I was and how much my emotions overwhelmed me and how much I acted on them. Um, so long story short, there's a lady in my church, the, um, um, the youth pastor's wife. Um, she is a dear friend to me, and um, I we were really close, and one day something happened, and I kind of just like started ignoring everybody, um, and she came to my house one day. She knocked on my door. She came with Chick-fil-A, praise the Lord, <laughs> and uh, she knocked on my door, and she, you know, just started crying, Alila, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You know, like, you haven't talked to me, you know, like, mm -hmm. um, long story short, you know, the first thing that came out of my mouth when I opened my mouth, because I was just standing there listening to her, was, I need to go to Rockford. Mm -hmm. And she started crying and she said, all right, let's make this happen. So I moved in with her for three weeks and then I came here to the home. And I can honestly say that it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Um, I've always, the church that I go to now, I've been there since I was about 11 years old, but I've always been in and out. Um, and I've never really had a personal relationship like I do now. Um, like Brother Cisco said, I just told him that I've been here for a little over eight months and I'm actually going to be graduating in a couple of weeks. Um, and this program um, not only has it allowed me to firm a foundation in the Lord and create a real relationship with God, mm -hmm. but I've learned so much in this program and it honestly is a wonderful program and I absolutely love it. I adore it. Um, I didn't have the funds to come either, but my church loved me so much that they provided the funds. Um, but uh, I've learned, um, the biggest thing I learned coming in this program was love. Um, I learned that love wasn't a feeling or an emotion, but it was an action, and that was huge for me. Um, I also learned about character and integrity. The way I grew up, it wasn't anything about that. Um, and so coming here and learning about how to how to be as a woman and how to act and how to present yourself was huge and uh integrity just the whole thing about integrity just mm -hmm. doing right no matter what was a huge mm -hmm. eye-opener to me um and so this this program honestly has transformed me from the inside out um and uh, i'm going to be going into the grad program to continue that and it's just yeah. it's been awesome it's been awesome the people love on you so much and uh i mean if you just have the faith in God, I mean, He can do anything for you. You know, no number is too big for God. Mm -hmm. That's great. And and as you've heard through Lila's story, you know, it took somebody having compassion. You know, the previous time here with Brother Burke's the previous video, he talked about the maniac of Gadara and how sometimes we know the story and we know the ins and outs of it because um, we have that recorded in Scripture. But the Bible says that Jesus just saw a man. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it just takes an individual to see a man, to see a woman 
in hurt and in need. And so uh, Lila had your youth pastor's wife come alongside, right? And then also the church came alongside. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, you know, people are in distress and in need of help, but uh, don't have anyone to step out by faith, don't have anyone to lovingly confront. And, um, and so when you give and when you partner with us financially, it goes to helping specific students in need. Um, Lila, if there's somebody watching right now and, you know, picking up and, and, and just transplanting from wherever they are in the country to come to Rockford for a residential six to eight month program, but there's a hesitancy there. There's like, eh, I don't know if I can do that. You know, what, what word of advice would you give to somebody like that on the fence that kind of knows that they need something to change, but uh, really are hesitating making a commitment like that? You know, what, what word of advice would you have for somebody like that? Um, I would definitely say um, that uh, trust in God I know that a lot of people say that and, um, you know, they use it very often and sometimes you might not even think about it when you say it, but it is the truth. Mm -hmm. And definitely mm -hmm. um, let go and let God. You know, when I first came here, I fought it for a couple of months and it took me a while to really allow it to settle in with me. Mm -hmm. But once I gave up my efforts and really allowed God to break me from the inside and show me who I was and let him work on me, it was beautiful. I mean, it really was. I mean, I came in a caterpillar and I'm a baby butterfly. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. yeah. That's part of the dynamic, I think, of the program, whereas maybe maybe some people have been through other programs, a 30-day, you know, a two-week, or even some kind of intervention where it's kind of a flashbang. But, you know, part of that process is, is the time. Mm -hmm. But not just time, because time doesn't necessarily heal all wounds like some people say time is an ingredient an important ingredient but it's the greenhouse effect where you're fully yes. submerged in the word of god but through that time we begin to learn to walk by faith learn to trust god yes. learn to let go and let god so lila thank you so much for being here with us today and for sharing your testimony for being transparent and giving god glory for what he's done in your life and Amen. we're very proud of you and we're praying for more students like you to come through the ranks and hopefully through watching this video if somebody would god would touch somebody's heart and you yes. would give you can do so three ways uh today the two main ways is on facebook you can do so it's giving tuesday so um there's matching funds if you give uh ten dollars uh facebook would also match it um for ten ten dollars and that's all through today until the, their funds run out i think they're doing it up until seven million dollars something like that so wow. kind of cool unique opportunity or if you visit rerecovery.com forward slash give uh, there's a way for you to donate on there to our student uh, assistance fund or if you'd like to be a warrior and continue to support RU. Just for $10 a month, you can be a warrior with us and be on the front lines of addiction recovery and help invest in individual lives who are hurting. Thank you again for watching with us, and we'll catch you next time.